Jamie here and let's look at how we warm up for the strong and the useful. You don't need much space, I'm taking a very small space inside here uh, with just the exercise mat um, underneath me. Uh, warming up, really quite simple, the whole idea is to um, activate some muscles or loosen up the tight muscles, uh, lubricate those joints to some nice movement. We're going to follow a very, very simple um, routine that starts with the neck, because most likely you can sitting on could be some stress, so let's loosen up those neck muscles. And we start with head nods. We don't go to pain on any of these movements. I'm just looking over my shoulder while sitting down on my, uh, my shins. You can sit on the toes or flatter. Also good for the knees and the hips. If that's too uncomfortable, you can do it in a tall kneeling position. Okay, so it's side to side. We also have up and down. I'm leading off the eyes. Putting my chin into the neck and looking up at the ceiling. Checking for cobwebs while I'm up there. Okay, after those one, the third movement for the neck is side to side. I'm going to go back to my uh, deep kneel or deep sit. I'm just taking my ear up to the ceiling and making sure I'm not doing this or anything weird. <laughs> Not that it's weird. I'm trying to keep the movement very linear as I listen to the ceiling. Okay, so I'm not bringing my ear to my shoulder. I'm taking my ear to the ceiling. From there, we'll get on to uh, shoulders, hips, ankles, and knees. And I'm going to turn around at a small angle so you can see me. Rocking on the floor, my knees are still a bit wider than my hips or shoulders. Hands on the floor. There's no particular rule. Just make sure it's comfortable. And sit back in a rocking motion. I'm pushing my toes into the floor. My feet are pointing up, they're quite neutral. I'm rocking back and forth. To really get into the ankles to make them happier, let's get the heels together and the big toes pushing into the floor. You can do this in your training shoes or socks, but I'm in the house, so I'll go barefoot. And the floor is clean. In the other direction with the feet, toes together, heels out to the side. We don't do any particular reps, we just move until it feels good or better. I'm going to come around to face you again, bring the feet back to the neutral. This time, you imagine you're holding a pencil in your belly button and you're drawing a circle-ish shape on the floor. Uh, the whole time keeping the head up as well to activate all those uh, neck muscles. We spend so much time driving down with the head down. We want to get those muscles switched back on to help pull that chin back into a more favourable, healthy position. So we keep the head up. Arms are straight-ish, don't need to be too stiff. We're doing circle rocks, aren't we? Okay. There are lots of the variations of rocks with the purpose of warming up. As a general prescription, these are fine. If you need to address tighter adductors or the hips, I can give you some personal recommendations for that. Just ask. Bring the hands back closer towards my knees. I'm looking over, so my chin is over my shoulder as I look for my foot. This is called find your feet. So I'm finding my feet. Feels great in the lower back and even the side of the back and the side of the hips. Talking of hips, we're going to get onto them right now. Hip flexors. Very important area to keep plastic and mobile because we do sit up quite a lot. If you're working from home, most likely if you're not lying on the floor working, you'll be sitting behind the desk or on the sofa. So, happy knee, knees but hip width apart. I'm making sure I'm not arching my back, so I'm tucking the pelvis under. So I'm bringing the navel up, okay, toward my belly button. Even a little bit of movement, I'll feel a stretch in the hip flexors and then back off. So I'm finding it and I'm backing off. It's a dynamic stretch. It's not a a static stretch. Foot, relax, anyway, it doesn't matter. Do one leg, do the other leg, 20 or 30 seconds. And from then, when we finish the hip flexors, we'll get into the rolling patterns. They're fun. Um, I've got Bella joining me here as my assistant. She's doing her downward facing dog. The rolling patterns. Uh, I shall do these on my back first of all. And I'm going to be awkward and have my feet towards you. Excuse me, Bella. She likes his mat. 
Segmental rolling, let me identify rolling. So in segmental rolling, we are trying to segment, as the name implies, your upper body from your lower body, loosening up all those um, uh, torso uh, muscles that can get quite tight. We are meant to rotate. What are you doing? We're meant to rotate uh, from side to side. We're meant to have that ability to rotate and reach. Um, uh, that's part of gait patterning. I won't bore you with the details. Here's how it looks. Excuse me. Okay. I'll do my legs first of all. I've got a dog's bone like this. So I'm lifting my knee up over my belly button, sweeping the leg towards the floor. Doesn't have to touch the floor. And I'm back in the same way. Note how my shoulders and my arms stay on the floor. If you are particularly stiff when you move it across, your, your shoulder may come with you. Just keep note of how close your hand and shoulder is to the floor. And with time, maybe it'll get closer and closer uh, to the floor. <sighs> He's here again. Come on, you. So legs, you can see that in the side of the hips. From legs, we move on to arms, or upper body. I'm lifting my head up, I'm looking to my side, and I'm reaching for what I'm looking at. Back to the floor, other side. You can reach high, you can reach low. You do enough of those until everything that's feeling a bit stiff feels a little bit less stiff. The rolls in the front, let's look at them. It's still a segmental roll. So I'm segmenting my upper body to my lower body again. Heads lifted, start wherever, comfortable, uh, wherever position is comfortable. You can be higher up, you can be lowered on. Just make sure it's comfortable for you. Hands are out, making a human starfish. I'm not pushing off the hand. I'm lifting out and reaching over me, stopping where I feel I need to stop. We're not looking to force a stretch or anything. I'm simply moving within my own means and gradually expanding the comfort zone of those uh, stretches, those reaches, those movements. Again, you can reach low or high. We're trying to articulate all those joints um, of your shoulder girdle, so it, it's Good practice to reach in different directions. Legs, get comfortable, pick a leg up, reach around. Might not hit the floor, that's fine. Just meet your body where it is as you do the roll. It is quite wise doing these not too soon after eating for obvious reasons. Mobility, very simple. There are lots of other roles you can do, uh, lots of other variations. We might, we might sprinkle those during the program as the resets. Um, you might come across quite a few of them. Uh, that's the warming up. You can make this last five minutes, 10 minutes. If you're feeling a bit stiff, do more. If you're feeling great, do just enough and move on. You can always come back to them. And you can do these whenever you want um, during the day. Just hit the floor, do some rocking, rolling and some head movements. That's enough for now. Uh, practice those. Any questions, just ask. I'm more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.